Rice is a New York Times best-selling author of 29 books. Several of her books have been turned into TV movies, and now she has a new novel out, and it's called The Silver Boat. Yeah, it's about three sisters returning to their beloved family summer home in Martha's Vineyard. Welcome, Luann Rice. Hi, I'll, I'll just bow now to you. <laughs> Thank you. 29 Thank you. books. So good to be here. That is amazing. 29 books. How many is that like per year that you oh, put out? Oh gosh, it goes back so far. I mean, I started when I was really young, but it is all I ever do is wow. write and play with my cats. So. And play with your cats? <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to ask you, how old were you when, you when you first started writing or got turned on to writing? Um, I was really young. I was 11 when my first poem was published, but and I wow. thought that it wow. magically happened, that it just appeared in print, but of course my mother had sent it in. So. And now you've had 29 books, some of them been turned into movies. Quite a career. And now this book, The Silver Boat, it's really interesting because the characters are so drawn out and like you can really s picture them all in your mind but it seems like you drew from a lot of personal experience with this book is that true you know the story itself is is made up like all my novels but definitely the emotions and the the way that the characters um are formed comes from me and comes from my own feelings and, and some experiences. Because you have two sisters in real life and you, the main character in the book has two sisters also. I do and a three sister family is endlessly inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I love about this book is that the sisters are all very close but they all also have their own issues as well and they all have um, things going on. I think that people at home can kind of um, see some of their own lives in this book. What do you think? I hope so. You know, I, I've heard from some book clubs that there's a lot to talk about in it. You know, when you're writing, it's just creating these characters and seeing what they do. But I feel as if, you know, there's there are a lot of issues that the, the girls have. Every family has their issues. I've got a few myself, <laughs> <Yeah>. Luann. <laughs> really? <laughs> I could be your book 30 right here. <laughs> yes. We'll have to talk later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you're also a big advocate against domestic violence. How important is this in yes. your writing? And is that something that's important to you to kind of spread that message? Really important to me, especially to, for people to know that you don't have to have a black eye or a broken arm in order to be suffering domestic violence and that there's help for people who are just you know feel as if they're being emotionally or or um, you know psychologically abused because that takes a, a huge toll and as someone once told me that those scars take longer to heal the emotional ones yes now when you're writing a book this always really interests me when someone creates this whole world of characters and places and in your book the house and Martha's Vineyard are like a character in them in themselves what is your process like? Do you lock yourself in a room for weeks and oh. never come out, or what do you? How does how do you create it? Well, thank you, and I, I do um, I do I am quite a, her a hermit while I'm writing. Although I love to write in hotel rooms and in lobbies, oh. so it's like I block the world out and just you know stay focused on this imaginary um, you know scene that I'm creating, um, and. It's true that that house. I, I've thought about this a lot. That you know the house that the sisters are have gone to Martha's Vineyard to deal with it was their mother's home and it was there you know where they spent so many happy childhood summers and it is like a part of the family you know and it 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 occurred to me you know how do you how do you when one person in the family dies their mother how do they proceed with that house and you know let it go hold on you know it's a very challenging situation for families Mm -hmm. It's something we all have to deal with letting go, and it's a great read. It's a really good book. Thank you, Luann, so much. And if you want to pick up a copy of The Silver Boat, it is available now. And, of course, you can get it online as well if you go to BetterTV.com and click on the Links tab.